Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And on this video tutorial, I wanna give you a bunch of ideas of really fun things that you can do with glass bottles. They could be the kind of glass bottles that you would pick up at Dollar Tree. They could be uh, wine bottles. These in particular, I did something really beautiful with last year at Christmas time. I just washed them off. We're going to reinterpret them for fall. These are actually Sky vodka bottles. And um, I had a couple of friends that worked at a restaurant that had a bar. And they knew that I loved crafting. So they saved these bottles for me. And the good thing about this project is that you can do it for a season. Um, and then put it in the sink and wash it off and do it for the next season or switch it out however you might like. So I'm gonna show you with one of these blue bottles and I'm also gonna show you this idea with this sort of greenish wine bottle that is empty. Um, and it's really cool. Okay, and we're gonna be using this stencil today, just one. It's got four separate pieces. It's called Fall Fantasy. It's an awesome stencil. I just literally got this last week. Okay, and let me give you a little sneak peek of where we're going, and then we'll come back to this bottle in just a minute, and we'll finish it off. Look how pretty that is. So, I mean, there's a million things that you could do. And this is just chalk paste, and then this is just some rope that looks like this, that I kind of pulled apart and tie it around the top. Um, they will have these kind of bottle lights that are the little sparkly things. I don't know if you've seen these before, but it just goes, you put the whole long string in there and then it just sits in the top of your bottle and there's a switch on and off. Well, my batteries are dead from last year, so I either need to get some brand new ones or to replace the batteries. Um, but this is the full idea and it's awesome. They look great lit up at night. Okay, so as you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle. Let me see if I can quick um, put, lay down a link here so that, um, sorry, I cannot talk. Okay, I pinned a link to the fall fantasy stencil, to the chalk paste, and to um, the squeegees. Okay, so let's do a blue one, and then we'll do this, all right? Um, okay, the blue ones, I'm going to be using white chalk paste, because I think it shows up better. And what I really love is to do snowflakes on these. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So later on, Maybe in November, I'll wash it off again and we'll use the Magnolia stencil that has snowflakes on it. It's not in stock right now, but when it comes back, I'll let you guys know. Okay, um, so I am going to, I'm going to be working on top of my tacky towel just to keep my bottle from rolling away. And we're going to be using my well-loved set of fall fantasy stencils and I do want to caution you one thing especially if your stencil is brand new like this you really need to fuzz it good before you use it on glass because it will stick so well to the surface that you may have to pull very hard to pull it up and that can stretch your stencils which makes them kind of curl so that's why we we fuzz them we're just applying a little bit of lint on them so if your stencils are brand spanking new then be sure that you fuzz them. You could fuzz them on a t-shirt, on a pair of jeans, a pair of khakis, a low lint towel. Um, these I'm not gonna fuzz because we'll look at them. I've used them a lot. Okay, and I'm just going to lay my stencil on the bottle. And what I want you to do is to get the idea of this. And to start looking around. I don't know if you drink wine or not, or if you have um, alcohol in your house, or if you have a friend who works at a bar or something, but start looking at bottles to see 
what's out there that you could do this idea with. And also start looking around for these lights. I got these last year for just a couple of dollars at Walmart in the Christmas section. I looked, oh, it's sticking to me. I looked on Amazon this morning. You can also get them on Amazon for just a dollar or two per light. Okay, so my stencil's on here pretty good. I'm just using some white chalk paste, which will be washable. I'll be able to take it right off. And I'm using my small cut apart squeegee. And I'm just dipping it into my chalk paste and applying it to my stencil. I mean, this is so easy, oh my gosh. And it's also super quick. And it gives you a big, you get a big, I think, effect doing this. And I'm gonna show you how to do some dot, dot, dots using a pencil eraser and some of this chalk paste. Okay, so I just put it on and I did it sideways and I'm just pulling it off. Oh my gosh, okay, well I do see one spot where I must not have had it pushed down good enough. Do you see that right there, right here? So I could, should we just wash it off? Let's do that and start again. Especially while it's wet, it's super easy to take off. Look at that. It's not even hard to take it off when it's dry. Um, I just put mine in the sink with some warm water. Can you do it with ink? You could, but the thing with ink is that sometimes it stays a little sticky. That's the only thing, unless you heat set it. But you could certainly try that. Okay, I'm gonna do this other maple leaf. I'm gonna make sure I have it. Press down good. My stencils at this point are not super sticky because I've used them so much. And that's why this year I just grabbed a new one. I ordered a new one. So I might be getting a better result if I had a newer stencil because these have been used a million and one times. Ha! Perfect! So you can see how great that is. And it, um, it really, in white, it really stands out. You saw how easy it was to clean it off of the um, bottle. And let's do a multicolored one. So I would just decide how I wanted to do it on the bottle. You could just do one. You could do all four of the different designs, which is what I did with this one over here that I'm gonna show you something in just a minute. It's totally up to you. All right, and you can put something around the top uh, if you want. Uh, don't cover this up though, because that's where you would put that light the string lights. Okay, so this was a bottle of wine, a, a Chardonnay, um, and I cleaned it out, and I just pulled the stickers right off. I don't know if that's the norm now. I was so surprised how easy it was to actually get the stickers off that, you know, say what the brand is and everything. Um, and we're going to use... For this bottle, we're going to use a combination of different colors. We're going to use some yellow chalk paste, some red, and some orange. We're just going to fiddle around and see what we get. So, uh, you could use this particular stencil for fall. I think it's awesome. And then use it on a million other projects. You could use a different stencil. You could use any size of a bottle. Like I was looking at these earlier. Um, these I put stickers on them. But these were Dollar Tree summer bottles, so you could do something like that too. Uh, and then you can do whatever color or design appeals to you. So let's use this one. I'm just 
gonna lay it down and press it on there really well. And then we're gonna do kind of a little swirly do effect. I see lots of people hopping on. Okay, and a lot of people are asking, where did I get the bottles? These are Sky Vodka bottles. No, we didn't drink them at home. I had a friend who worked at a restaurant and she knew I loved to craft. She also knew how beautiful these were. And the restaurant had a bar and so she hung on to the bottles when they were empty and gave them to me. Wasn't that sweet? You can order all different colors of bottles on Amazon. This is just a leftover wine bottle. So nothing fancy. Okay, so I'm just gonna get three little, I don't know, blobs of chalk paste. I was fiddling around with this idea before I came live so I could make sure how it would look and it looked pretty good. So I'm gonna add my colors. really does not take very much chalk paste to do this. It's over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna use one squeegee. Can you see how I just put little blobs on there? You could do all one color if you want. Um, I just thought it would be fun to do something different and I'm just sort of mixing my colors up and doing sort of little twirly motion. <sighs> Make sure I get everything covered. I'm gonna pull off the excess. I'm not putting this back into a pot because it's a whole bunch of different colors. And I don't want to introduce a whole bunch of different colors into my pot. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Let me go throw this in my little tub of water over here for a minute. And look how pretty that is. What do you guys think? What can I use if I want to make your design permanent? Okay, that is a great question. Somebody just asked, what can they do if they want to make their design permanent? You could try using a clear matte sealer spray over the top of it. But here's the thing. When this chalk paste dries, it dries hard and stable. It's not gonna fall off. It's not gonna be bumped off. Um, it's going to be there. It's relatively permanent until you actually get it wet. And the thing about using a clear sealer spray on glass is that sometimes it can make your glass look a little cloudy. So I don't honestly even think that you need to do that, that you would need to put anything over the top of it to make it permanent. Um, because it, I mean, it's going to stay. The stuff, the bottles, I showed pictures this morning before I washed them. The bottles that I made last year have been sitting here on my little cabinet since last November or October when I made them and they are all perfectly fine. So, um, what do you guys think? I know it's a little harder to see this one, but I think when it's dark, or in the evening and when I have the bottle lights in them and turned on, it's gonna be beautiful. And I will definitely add some more leaves and some more design to these, but let's go to this one again. Okay, I started this before I came live and I used all four of the fall fantasy leaves. I turned them different directions, winky wonky, and put them on and then, let me see if I'm dry. I think I am. Yeah, okay, and then I'm gonna show you how to add the little dots. I did the dots as if the leaves were being blown in the wind, just for fun, okay? So we're gonna do this one, and let's go up around this way. Okay, so let me get these out of my way. What I did, was I took a little blob of this same white chalk paste, which I pinned a link right here, right there. 
It says false fantasy stencil, and then it has the HTTPS colon slash slash bit.ly, blah, 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 blah. And then the next line down is for chalk paste. That'll take you to the page where you can look at all of the chalk paste, all the different colors that are available. It will take you straight to the page where this stencil is, so you don't have to hunt it down. And there's one to take you straight to the page where you can get these little cut apart squeegees. So I'm just gonna take a small blob of this white chalk paste and I'm putting it on a paper plate, which is gonna be hard to see. All right, and then I'm going to close this jar. I'll get the other ones in a minute. Okay, and I have a pencil. Alternatively, you could use one of these guys. I think this is called a stylus. You could use the end of a paintbrush, whatever size, whatever you want. But I'm just using this pencil eraser. And I have my chalk paste right here. So I'm just going to dip my pencil eraser in that. And we're going to tap it on our bottle. And it, um, it looks like snow when you're doing it on a winter design. So if you decide this uh, later this fall when the snowflake stencils come back in stock that you wanna do like a snowflake bottle, which looks so pretty in this blue. Um, these little uh, dot, dot, dots look so great. So can you see how I'm just laying them down? And there's no specific anything. If you get one that looks like that last one that's not very good, just dip your eraser again. And and if you don't like how it turned out, you can wipe it off in two seconds. Also, if some are bigger or smaller than other ones, you can just go back. And fix them. So try to imagine this. I think it's adorable for fall. I don't even care that it's blue. Um, I think it would be beautiful if I had an amber color bottle or a set of three. I, I would display three at a time. I think that looks lovely. Um, but anyways, um, imagine it with the cork light in it, which you can get these on Amazon. Also last year at Christmas time at Walmart, they had them with the Christmas decorations for just a couple dollars. They have batteries in here, which mine are dead, and a little switch, so you just feed the wire with the lights on the, into your bottle, and you leave it there all the time, and then you can just switch it on and off right here at the top. But imagine it like that. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. It's super simple. If you like repurposing things, you can swap this out a hundred times every year, <laughs> as much as you want. And um, you can use whatever stencils, whatever color of chalk paste you might want. Um, here's this one that I showed you on this green bottle with a combination of yellow, orange, and red chalk paste. If you want to go look at this stencil right here, it's called Fall Fantasy, or anything else, I did pin a link right here. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, if you decide to do this project, I would love to see what you come up with over at Dreamy DIY. So, Feel free to share pictures there. Feel free to ask questions. If you need a link for something else, just let me know and I'd be glad, glad to grab it for you. And um, have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Christ and Crafting. All right, see you later.
Okay, one last thing. I hate to hang up when I see all these hearts and thumbs flying up to the top, but I wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who did stars. That is awesome, and I so appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who's doing this and this, uh, or maybe sprinkling, or asking questions. Oh, Fourth of July would be awesome. Okay, somebody just suggested that these blue bottles would be great for Fourth of July. I totally agree. They'd also be great with seashell stencils on them for beach or summer. Um, and you could do something springy with them too. So be on the lookout for some different pretty bottles that you can wash up and use over and over and over for a whole bunch of different things. Is there a difference between chalk paste, between paste and chalk paste? Okay, I'll answer this question and then I'm gonna hop off. I'm not sure what you're asking exactly, but there is a difference. Chalk paste, it's like this, is a paste form, which means it has moisture in it, of the thing like your teacher, the chalk sticks, like your teacher drew on the bulletin, on your, the blackboard when you were in elementary school, okay? It's not permanent. I mean, it will stay until you wanna wash it off, okay? That's chalk paste. There's also something called chalk paint, which people confuse with chalk paste. Chalk paint is just paint that has some chalk in it. It's permanent and it can permanently ruin your stencils. So I never use any kind of paint, chalk paint or otherwise, on my stencils because they have this fine mesh detail and paint, even chalk paint, dries quickly in the mesh holes. This is like a silk screen and it's not cut out. So if you want to still be using your stencils 20, 30, 40 times, or maybe even more when they look horrible like these do, but they still work just fine, don't ever use any kind of paint on them. So hopefully that answered that question. All right, have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.